Hi guys and welcome to another episode in my Getting Into TV series, a series that I hope makes Getting Into TV a bit easier. Um, I know how hard it can be. So my aim is to talk to as many people as possible in unscripted and in scripted about what they do and how, how you can get into TV. And this week I'm joined by Harry Cole, who is a runner um, currently on Publicum um, and a recent graduate of U the University of South Wales. Um, hi Harry. Hi Tom, how's it going? For yes, anyone watching this, it has taken me and Harry quite a long time to record this video. <laughs> I, I do apologise. <laughs> um, we studied the same course, didn't we? Yeah, I think as you left, I started... Right. And we currently work in the same building as well. You're not following you, I swear. <laughs> yeah, follow me <laughs> everywhere. When I leave the BBC, you'll just follow me to... I don't know, I don't know where I intend to go next, but yeah. Um... I suppose really the best place to start is what did you study at uni and what was it like for you? I mean, for me personally, uni was an experience. It got me away from where I lived, um, but I wouldn't say it helped me so much in TV. What would you say your experience was like? Yeah, so like obviously, as we just mentioned, we did the same course in uni. So we both studied media production at the University of South Wales. Um, so I guess different to your experience, I live just on the road from Cardiff anyway. So I was always um, kind of hell bent on going to Cardiff because mm -hmm. the city means so much to me because of my passion for film and TV, which led me to, you know, Doctor Who, which I'm a massive fan of. Um, and, you know, the building itself has been in, you know, has been in the series, uh, like the spin-offs. Um, yeah. So I was always kind of uh, really excited to go to Cardiff for those reasons, because I felt that, a, it was close to home. B, it was, um, it felt right uh, as, as to who I was growing up. Like it kind of felt yeah. all natural. Um, but yeah, uni in general, I loved. I was a really, really big fan of uni. Um, I always kind of made sure that I put my all into everything I did at uni because I knew I was quite, um, I guess, um, yeah, kind of realistic in the sense that I knew it was only three years. So I was like, I'm just going to enjoy this experience as much as I can, put everything into it. Um, and through that, I managed to, to create a, a, a really, you know, great showreel that I'm, I'm proud of, you know. Um, and, and through the help with the uni and, and, and lecturers and, and the courses, the specific modules that helped me kind of develop my passion for screenwriting. Um, yeah, uni really helped kind of um, develop my skill set and, and who I was personally I, mean, I guess you know. thing with uni I mean like I'm I'm not there saying uni was completely awful for me I like, I did enjoy it I met so many great people and I think uni is really good for, for a getting you away and getting you to experience life but also in your experience um and kind of in my experience like I did make cool things and it did I, I met cool people and got to work with cool people I think that's a really good part of uni um what would you say your highs and lows were <sighs> So highs and lows uni, again, highs, I think, was just the people that I met. Like, absolutely, the people that I met, they were our family, you know, the people that I, I, lived, I, I lived with in my second and third year are like family to me. Um, uh, another high is, is my final major project that I, I wrote and produced that I'm sure we'll talk about a bit later on. Hey, um, I'm just going to say now, it's amazing if it's the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> I, I can't comment because I was part of the group, <laughs> but I, I'm really proud of it. And I, I think, you know, if you get a chance to watch it, it it's, it's quite an interesting I'll watch. I'll put a link down below if you've got anything as well. So just send it my way and I'll put it down there for <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Appreciate <laughs> that. Um, yeah, so definitely a high for me was my final major project of getting to create something that I've been working on for, for many years, something that um, had a lot of history behind it, a lot of me in it. Um, and um yeah creating that show real again like I mentioned that was definitely a massive selling point for me for uni but I know you know uni isn't for everyone also you know you don't have to go to uni to get to certain points in in, career, in the career that you want to get to you know it's 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 completely personal preference absolutely definitely I mean to be fair you, you put it perfectly like I, I think uni it's, a, it's an experience where you get given the tools and you can make, you can run with what you want to do. Like, you, like for instance, you got to make that project which was personal to you and you got to, you got to make that. Um, and I think that, I think that's definitely a perk of uni. It gave you them tools and it gave you, it gave you that chance. Um, 
talking about your final project, obviously, I've been in that experience, that 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 boat of the final year of uni. It's it's the quickest year of your life, I think, because I, I remember my first day of uni as if it was yesterday. But and I can't believe it was over three years now since I graduated. I, I, I've, oh been my- out, I've been out of uni longer than I was in it, which kind of terrifies me. Um, what? what was your final year like? Like, what was the pressure? Did you feel any pressure of of, of leaving and not really knowing? how to get a job or where to look what what was that like so as i was editing the video i thought seeing as this video and this conversation is all about running in the industry now would be the perfect time to actually name drop a few of the websites where you can get your first job first one is talent manager you can pay for it but you can also get a free version um i've got a lot of my work through there i would highly recommend talent manager next one that's really good is the facebook page and people looking for work in tv um forward slash runners that's a really good one um, and then I'd also recommend going to screen skills and um, they do a lot of training opportunities um, and it's all free well most of it's free anyway and you can learn how to use a camera and um, research techniques um, and then you've also got things like the call time diary service and um, which if you want to work in the AD department as a um, a runner, a third AD, first AD, or I think they also do for the costume department and art department. I might be wrong on that, um, but they also have applications open now, and I think until the 3rd of February. So you might have time whilst this video is up. Um, so yeah, go and check them out. I'll put a link down below. Um, but they're the main ones I can think of right now, but I will um, also be posting up loads of applications, uh, not applications, but um, opportunities that I find on Twitter and other websites, on my Instagram and on my Twitter. And um, so please just, if you want to see anything, if I found anything, it might be on there, it might not be. Um, but they're like the top three websites I'd say go and check out. Anyway, back to you, Harry. Yeah, so our final year was, for me, it was quite, yeah, there was a lot of pressure I felt I think I felt a lot of pressure on myself, but I, f- I felt that there was a lot of pressure on me because of, you know, at that point we were still in the, in the depths of COVID, you know, so creating films and whatever still felt like somewhat illegal. Like <laughs> going yeah. out with a camera felt like, should we be doing this? Even, was... I'm going to like, even working in the industry at that time as well, it kind of felt wrong because I, at that time, everyone wasn't allowed to travel and there's me traveling around the country. It felt wrong. <laughs> It does because you feel you feel almost guilty, you know. There's people, you know, you put yourself in different situations, and you're like, should we even be doing this? But obviously, you know, th- there were um, things in place to to protect us and um, yes, yeah, support us during COVID with the uni. With my final major project, it was quite uh, quite a a lump sum project, you know. It felt quite heavy, and because of that, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself to make making sure that it was the best it could be. Yeah, a lot of it was my own pressure, but I felt that, you know, by doing that to myself, like I was able to kind of um, really put my all into it, which, you know, again, doesn't work for everybody. Everyone's got their different kind of um, how they work, how they progress, how they develop and whatever. Um, but I find if I'm under if I'm under the pressure that I feel like I should be under, you know, as a as a producer, screenwriter, whatever, um, I felt that doing that under the pressure helped me kind of push and drive the project and i suppose obviously you had that pressure of the final major project which you want to make the most amazing thing you possibly can um but i suppose alongside that in your final year you've also got that pressure of oh my god i'm leaving in three months two months one month next day like tomorrow it it comes around like that how did you like manage that pressure of wanting to do well in uni but also wanting to get your first job in the industry so i think what i kind of did throughout from September 2020 to May about 2021 I kind of ensured that I wasn't getting ahead of myself mm-hmm. that I was focusing on one module at a time and, and planning my time so it was you know I've got say um, script development which is a module that we do at USW um, on the media production course it, it's I was focusing on that at that time and then I would maybe go on to maybe our sound project and then focus you know I'm doing that until this date I'm not going to think past that yet because there's no need to I wasn't putting um I wasn't getting ahead of myself and I think that's something really important that, that a lot of people do you know people do kind of think okay so we got this module at this date and then this deadline and then we got that deadline that goes into that and it's like oh my god it's it's, it's it if, if if I focus on one thing at a time I was able to kind of make the most of each project like I was saying earlier I kind of wanted to put my all into what I did at uni 
And by ensuring that I was focused on one project at a time, it kind of enabled me to do that, I guess. But no. yeah, I, I remember a conversation that I had with one of my flatmates, Morgan. We were in the kitchen one night and it was like 3 a.m. Because of course, we're students, you know, our yeah. student pattern is out the window. Um, <laughs> so I just pointed that way to the window, out that window. Um, <laughs> um, I remember a conversation quite, you know, as if it was yesterday that we had about, I remember breaking down in the kitchen because I, I was really worked up over the fact, I think it was about May time, maybe end of April, May time, where I was like, I've got, I've got nothing. Like our, our deadline's coming up. I've, I've got no job planned. I don't know what I'm going to do. We've got our accommodation until July. I've got nothing to do in the meantime. I, I really just don't know what to do. And I, I got really quite worked up over the fact that what what do we do? Yeah. And, and, it, and it's so, it's, it's nerve wracking. It, it really it gets is. To... No, it really is. Like I just remember them final few months and just thinking, I was applying for everything. And my, my first job came about by me applying for a uh, runner job in Gorilla in the February completely forgot about it and then at the start of June I got an email being like do you want to have a job interview and I was like what's this for what? like I think I think that's you, you just got to throw yourself out there and and just apply and apply and apply um and just annoy people but not too much definitely I think um a shameless email is always great yeah I think you know the worst thing any anyone can say to you is is no and as you know as disheartening as that can be I think um you've just gotta you've gotta take it as experience you've you, they know of you now which is good they've got your number they've got your name you've got your cv perhaps they've got your contact details it's a no for now but in a couple of years or a couple of months couple of weeks however long you know they might be like oh, i remember remember tom dix who contacted us about that we, we need someone in well, to take a day or whatever i've got a, i've got a story myself is i applied for a runner job and bargain hunt didn't get it I even went to the interview on my birthday. So no I, was like, I, was, I was like, right, it's my birthday. Please give me this job. Uh, <laughs> I got a call later that day being like, sorry, you haven't got it. But by from that, if I'd got that bargain hunt job, I wouldn't have got my crime watch work. So from me not getting that job, it got passed around the department and then crime watch picked up. And then since then, obviously I've done two years on crime watch now and now I'm a researcher. So wow. it, it does happen. Like even if it's a no, you will inevitably be picked up somewhere it just might not be where you think they'll end yeah. up i just wanted to interrupt the video one more time to say you should all go and check out at mary fett on tiktok and um, she is a runner in tv and she's done one of these videos with me before and on her tiktok she basically tells you everything that you need to do in order to get into the tv industry and her tiktoks are miles better than these videos plus because i mean for a start they don't go on for 20 minutes they're they're literally over like that and they're amazing really informative um and i also wanted to say that if you wanted to check out some more of my other videos I have done two videos, one called Being a Runner, an introduction. It basically goes into everything you need to take to, with you on your first day on set. Um, and also, I realized when I started um, working in the industry, no one had actually taught me how to read a call sheet. So I've actually done that for you. I've made a whole call sheet. I've done a whole video all about how to read a call sheet. I'd really recommend reading that before you turn up on your first day because it is one of the most vital bits of um, being on a production, especially in drama. Um, you graduated in well, June of last year, is that right? Still, well, still not to graduate. <laughs> <laughs> when do you graduate then, like officially? Uh, March 16th. So that's Is our official good? official graduation date. It's going to be but... in person. Yes, yeah, so we're doing it in the ICC down in Newport, which is nice. which is exciting, which is a great venue. Um, but yes, yeah, so we are going to have an in-person graduation, um, which I'm really, really glad about because I I really... they are the strangest things ever. It's like some weird medieval ceremony where all your lecturers <laughs> all of a sudden wear these robes and there's weird music playing. I just remember. It, it was such a strange situation. I mean, to be fair, I was probably a bit drunk myself at the time anyway, because <laughs> we've, we've been drinking beforehand. But I, yeah, that whole day was just really weird. And you just, I, your, your graduation just comes down to you walking across a stage and picking up a piece of paper from someone. It's just really weird. But in, in a few of my conversations that I've had with people on this series is, it's always been brought up that a runner is the best job ever because you get to meet everyone. Um, would you agree with that? I think um, the running, being a being a runner, I think is definitely one of the most fun things 
I could possibly do in the industry. You know, I'm, I'm speaking to nearly every department, if, if not every department on a daily basis. I've got a really close relationship with the actors, the costume department, makeup, the assistant directors, the production office. Um, yeah, being a runner, I, I love it. I, I'm, I'm really content with, you know, people, it's long hours. Yeah, you know, you you get that. You've got, you know, there's, a, there's responsibility on you to make sure, you know, you fulfill your responsibilities as a runner. And, and, it, and it can be long and it can be, you know, challenging some days, but I love that. And, and for me personally, I think, yeah, running is just great. It's fun. It's, you know, energy is always like sky high. Um, I, I miss it. I genuinely am sad that I'm, do you? I love being a researcher. I miss being able to just hop about places and just, just be a runner. Um, yeah. So obviously, I, I would pronounce your, the first job you did, but I, I, <laughs> I don't think I'm in a position to start speaking Welsh. Even I, though I, I, think think should, I think we should, I think we should hear it. No, not happening. No, not happening. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, so you moved on from Boom Plan. Um, what are you doing now then? So I moved on from Boom Plan. I did um, obviously Hot of Cash, which is the sketch show, and then I did the game show, Put um, After Living, and a drama series <laughs> called Itopia. And I went from there then into BBC um, with Publicum. So I'm currently with the Welsh soap drama Publicum which I'm sure you'll catch on S4C. Um, tune in, tune in. Speaking and, and communicating with every department, really, really strong relationship with ev everyone who we, who we come across, we work with. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just really, really um, fun. You know, I get to get to do this job on a daily basis that I love. And yeah, I'm just having the best time over, over with Pobo. You've, you've, you've hopped around the place and you've gone from like production to production how do you find being a freelancer um because no one really prepares you for it like no one prepares you for like when I first started I was a freelancer I also had my nine-month contract at Gorilla but then I decided to go freelance having got onto the screen skills program and I was busy kind of throughout the year but then it came to November December and I was unemployed and I had to go and work in the Odeon and it was the most soul-destroying thing to do for that amount of time um, but how how do you find being a freelancer, having to constantly find work? It is it is stressful. Like I can't lie, between that time between jobs is the most. Um, it's hard to relax. Time. Yeah, it's, it's it is. It really is hard to relax because you feel like oh, I should be working right now. You feel guilty that you're off. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, but then it's not your choice that you're off as well. It's that you want to work, but there just isn't anything at the minute. Uh, again, it's it's a no for now situation. You're going to contact people, and there might be a couple of no's, uh, but you will get. You know, it, it, there's a there's a really good chance that you will get something a little bit later on. Um, it's just it's just that patience. But yeah, that time the time between jobs is uh, that downtime is is, is stressful. Um, but I, again, I've been quite lucky. You know, I I I can't really complain in terms of I I've I think the the most time I've had I had off really is um perhaps a week and a half in October since since joining the industry and jumping in in, in June I've been really fortunate that I've had a really a, a steady flow of work you know so that's really um, good as well over, over the Christmas period as well because that's that's such a horrible time as well so that's that's really good um moving on what are your future aspirations then obviously you're a runner now you've been a runner what do you what are you going to go and do what do you want to do or don't you know yet yeah so um I've been in touch with with Boom recently, and I'm gonna go back to Boom Plant over in um, with in Glowworks. Over the road, <laughs> the road. Um, and I'm gonna go back there as a researcher starting in April, uh, which I'm really, really, really excited about. It's another step up that I'm really, really keen to do, and I'm really good to get my teeth into this brilliant sketcher that we're gonna be doing. Um, really, really excited to start that that side of of researching and that um different part of of the industry you know different different job different, different job different responsibilities um yeah so i'm going to be joining there as, as a researcher but i think my my aim goal is, is to screenwrite so my passion and my, my hobby is is to write scripts and, and get content out there um but yeah producing and screenwriting is, is where my kind of heart lies One day. Um, but it's, it's you know again it's something that I'm not too eager to do just yet. It's 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 a process. It's it's, it's a journey that I, I'm not 
I think that's a good point to make as well. I, I was I, I started out in drama as a runner and then I've moved over to factual and I've only just become a researcher. But in that time, I've tried different things. I've tried different productions. I've tried Doctor Who, Casualty, Crime Watch, Bargain. I've tried, it's, I think, I think the worst thing you can do in this industry is step up too quick. Um, just enjoy it whilst you can. Um, I think the worst thing you can do in this industry is step up too quick. Um, just enjoy it whilst you can. Um, finally, what advice would you give to um, people starting out in the industry or pe even people applying for uni since you since you've just graduated yourself? Oh, Tom, I don't think I'm in a position to give <laughs> <laughs> advice. <laughs> um, I think if, if, you know, if someone came to me asking what to do, I think um, the best thing Oh, any advice I think I could I could give you know in from my experience in the last how many months is the is to is to network is to is to get your name out there as quick as you want to as quick as you can just get into it the sooner you're in it you're in it you know uh, and this one job you're going to meet um, Joe Blogs from Joe Blogs his company <laughs> um, and he's going to know Sandra Lewis from this other from Sandra Lewis's company and and then you've got that link and you've got those people and then she's going to know someone and then she's going to know him and then he's going to know them and then whatever and it's and it's great it's, it's a really really good way of, of getting your name out there is networking um so sh send those shameless emails you know there's just send them out to anyone and, and everyone who will listen and, and, and take your take your name take your number take your email address your cv just get your name out there. I think if, if that's what you want to do, just kind just of just got to do it. I'd like to mention that what you're doing is incredible. I think the series that you've got going is incredibly insightful, ridiculously helpful. Um, and I think if anyone, you know, if they only watch this next kind of 30 seconds of your entire series, watch it all. <laughs> that's my <laughs> advice. That, that's my advice. What's I love that they, they they find the video, they skipped to about 30 minutes in, they watched 30 seconds, like, okay, yeah. I'll watch all of it now. <laughs> and then we'll go back. Um, thank you so no, much for no, you know, um, Harry. No, it's been, thank you for having me on, you know, I'm I'm really grateful that, that you asked me, you know, and, and you know, as USW alumni, we've got to stick together, you know. Definitely, we've, we've got, to, <laughs> got to help them people. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. If anyone watching this wants to see any of the upcoming videos or previous videos like Harry has told you to do, then just go to one of the videos. <laughs> never remember which one it is. There'll also be a link down below. Also, please check out all the social media that I'll be posting links and uh, Instagram stories and two different trainee schemes. So please just keep an eye out on there. And if you've got any questions for me or for anyone um, that I'm going to be interviewing, then please just, again, put them down below or DM me. But other than that, thank you so much again. And Harry, Thank uh, you, Tom. And you can go back to work now. I won't keep oh, you really? any longer. <laughs> I was only joking about being fun. Please don't say that. <laughs> um, yeah, see you later. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Tom. Bye. Bye.